In this video, we're going to cover a vertical square foot takeoff. And specifically, we're going to do a drywall takeoff example here. But it's really important to note this tool is very versatile and can work perfect for things like paint, tile, splashbacks, retaining walls, even brickwork can all be done the same way. There's really uh, any number of things that this tool works perfect for. But to start with our drywall takeoff example, um, I'm just simply going to click and open up our drywall category and selecting here, I'm going to enter in an arbitrary cost for the square foot and I'm going to hit the takeoff button. Now, as mentioned previously, the units that I put into the line will then dictate what tools I get. So this is a square foot takeoff and for drywall, you can absolutely do it uh, from this top view here. And in fact, this tool is really handy for when your plans are uh, a bit limited and you maybe only have top plans. And you can actually get a lot of information out of these and the tool I'm specifically talking about is this line tool here. So what it's going to do as soon as I click it is it's going to ask for how high is this line. And I've had a quick look at the elevations and I know the ceiling height and I'm going to enter that in here. So I'm going to say drywall, uh, floor to ceiling. I'm going to click once to start and I'm going to click again to finish. And as you can see, it just simply draws a line. So what the math is doing here is it's going to measure the line and then multiply it by the height that I gave it earlier to get my square foot edge. And you can really do as many of these as you want. So if you are going to be doing a lot of these, and certainly drywall is a really good example where this definitely occurs, is I tend to turn these labels on and off as I need them. And that's just done by this little tag looking button up here. And again, for drywall specifically, I'm very much just going to wrap room by room. And the reason I do that is it almost unintentionally double sides the wall where it needs to. And this is also a really good way of excluding rooms like the bathroom where it's going to have something else. So if you go through, uh, grab a room, and again, it'll work out almost unintentionally as mentioned, where it's going to need to be double sided. And a great trick here, just to make it easier, is what I'm doing here is because of this tool is just a single line, when I get to the corner, it obviously stops. But I wanted to keep going to continue around the room. So what I'm going to do is I'm basically just going to double click my mouse. So again, one click to stop and another one to start a line. And I'm just going to simply just go around the room, double clicking to continue. And when I want to finish, just a single click to stop and voila, just like that. It's a really powerful little tool. And as mentioned, very quick and easy to get a number of internal measurements done. Now, one thing I want to mention, and I mentioned in previous videos, if you want to undo lines that you've done, this undo appears is the easiest way. And if you want to wipe off all the drawings, start again, you can simply use this trash can and it will wipe the whole slate clean. For now though, I'm going to click accept and save, and then it will put this measurement back in and then multiply it out by the cost. And there's my vertical square feet takeoff done.